ISIS-K, which is an offshoot of ISIS, claimed responsibility for this terror rampage. Lots of questions still remain surrounding this attack. Uh, one of the main ones, obviously, is why did the United States trust the Taliban to provide security around Kabul? Provided the Taliban with a list of U.S. citizens and Afghan allies who have worked with the United States over the past 20 years in Afghanistan. The Taliban was given a list and told by the U.S., hey, let these people through, let them go to the airport. Trust that we share Taliban. versions of this information with the Taliban. Not a very comforting thought. He went on to say they don't get the full range of we have from Asia. We give time to act, time and space to try and prevent these attacks again. President Biden has said time and time again, as has members of his or, cabinet. McKenzie went on to we say, our trust. plan includes reaching out to the Taliban, who are actually providing the elder security around the airfield to make sure they know what we expect we them to, to do when we are sharing us. sensitive information and intel with the Taliban and relying on the Taliban. The authorities on national security worked for two years as, again, National Security Advisor under Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Today, along those lines, uh, the new Israeli Prime Minister, Naftali Bennett, met with Joe Biden at the White House for 50 minutes. And I think the big item to come out of that was Joe Biden said on his watch, he will never allow Iran to acquire... ...as well, that the commitment the Americans uh, took upon themselves are ready to fulfill and are ready to stand behind and with their allies. In each place and, and state, it's a different situation. Of Panic, chaos, a staggering collapse. The Taliban have taken Afghanistan. Ben Solomon was in Kandahar just before that city was seized, riding with Afghan forces in full retreat. Ben is here to talk about how the country's fall happened in just weeks. Plus, Hind Hassan saw firsthand what could lie in Afghanistan's future when she and her team snuck themselves into Taliban-controlled territory intelligence. 20 years, four presidents, trillions spent, and thousands of service members killed. We can hear around gun firings. There is no one on the road, in the streets. You can only hear a gun firing. There were some armed men came to our uh, block parking. They were uh, screaming and shooting on the air. My family and my neighbor's family were screaming and crying for this. As the Taliban advanced across Afghanistan, our reporters reached out to friends and contacts to find out how they were. These are the messages we got back. Hello. Uh, since last two weeks, especially last two, four days that we got information that the Taliban captured the capital, I lost myself. We can't tell you their names because they're afraid for their lives, but we will keep bringing you their voices this week. I don't have sleep. I cannot eat anything and I am afraid of that. They will come to my home and kill me. <laughs> because I am a female activist. And now there will be no right for women. And I am I have a family. <laughs> Yesterday when I we heard the Taliban enter to the Kabul, I just shocked. <laughs> It was the hardest and the very worst condition that I have ever experienced. And I want that America know that our life is in danger. They had the time to wait and that's how it, it's unfolded. And I think what I'm hearing here on the ground is that um, for the Afghan partners, for the U.S. Um, uh, partners in Kabul, the Afghan government, um, there was an expectation that President Biden would 
draw this out a bit longer, that there would be some kind of change in policy from the Trump administration, that was a surprise to them. There was a moment where they thought with a new... Out punishments, how they see fit. Oh, just smacked him. What you're seeing right now is pretty much a Taliban court. You have in front of me is a local Taliban commander talking to somebody who's been accused of stealing. Surrounded by a group of Taliban fighters, the accused is forced to give a deposition to camera about whether he stole sheep from a local herder as well as other crimes. He's been sitting in Taliban jail since his arrest and has no representation at this hearing. Coming out of Kabul or Washington, the Taliban had absolutely no intention to take part in intra-Afghan talks which would lead to them uh, integrating into what was the current political system in Kabul. In terms of their strength, they have a whole new generation of fighters. Some of them weren't even bored when the war began. They were all armed and they also showed us how to make their weapon of choice.